The football season is a long and grueling one. And let me tell you something. The quest to go 17-0 and then win out and win the Super Bowl is almost dang near impossible. It's effing insanity. But we're going to try it anyway. So we're going to do the 17-0 challenge, which has never been done. The last team to win all their regular season games and then win the Super Bowl, just a completely undefeated season, was the Dolphins in 1972 and the thing about those 1972 dolphins is they went 17 and 0 but that was because the regular season was shorter and then you know playoffs was also you know there so 17 0 but we're trying to go 17 0 then win it all get the super bowl can we do it let's see if we can now what we're gonna do in this one here is we're gonna spin a wheel here i've got a beautiful wheel bam with every team we're gonna spin it it's gonna land on a team. We're gonna run a fantasy draft throughout the entire league so that we can make sure everything's crazy and we're gonna only be able to make trades before week one starts. Once the regular season starts, we can't make any moves. It's up to the football gods to take the creation we have made and to guide us to 17 and 0. Can we do it? Let's find out. Leave a like on this video if you enjoy. You already know how YouTube is. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into it. For our first wheel spin, all righty, let's do it. It's time to spin the wheel of, 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 please God, give me a flawless team. It's time, spin the wheel. Let us go. What team will we take and make them be victorious, completely undefeated? It's going to be, oh, sweet Christ. My Falcon's blood is dying. Oh, it's even worse. We're the Saints. I thought it was gonna be Panthers, but we're Saints. Well, let's go see if we can make the Saints have a undefeated season, 17-0, first time in history. And then if they can keep it on and through the playoffs. All right, the first team is the New Orleans Saints. This pains me as a Falcon fan, but let's do it. We're gonna make the Saints go 17 and 0. Yeah, no, I'm not screaming and melting inside. All right, Dennis Allen, you're getting a whole new team. Let's do the fantasy draft, baby. But here's the thing, I'm not picking because I don't want to be, I don't want to be biased, okay? I want the game to giveth what the game giveth. So let's do it. We run this bad boy, start the draft. Get out of here, video, I don't care. Send it. Skip ahead. I want to go to the end of the draft. Make it happen. Look at all those rounds. They're flying. Hopefully the Madden gods bless us. Whew. We're an 81 overall team. Well, I don't know if the gods have blessed us. We're going to send to the regular season because we don't, we don't care about all that preseason crap. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. See what the CPU gave us to cook with. Let's see. Our quarterback is Kyler Murray. I cannot escape him from good old Cardinals franchise, which we're doing on Twitch. Link in the description. We've got a very interesting team. We do have CeeDee Lamb, which is a insane receiver to have. That's dope. We also got JSN, which could be nasty as well. Kyler is going to be a bit of an issue. Running backs, we do have Jalen Warren, and then we have Damian Pierce. I like Warren. I don't know what the hell happened to Damian Pierce. Our offensive line could definitely be better by the way 78 69 73 we got a lot of young offensive linemen the cpu loved the young big boys cody whitehair is he not 87 years old he's 32 oh god i'm 32 that felt that that hit different all right and then we did also get dawson knox so we do have a solid tight end i don't know if this team can do it but we're gonna be able to make some trades here man we got a lot of rookies uh okay we got brisker out here it's strong safety okay our defensive line is interesting our defensive line is in actually the defense is incredibly interesting we're gonna have kenny clark right off the rip here at defensive tackle 87 overall he's gonna be disgusting get this out of my face he'll have abilities too interesting i'm gonna have to put more stuff on him here now i don't know how these abilities will play into sim but honestly kenny clark at defensive tackle is sick and the defensive line gets even better i mean us having aiden hutchinson i mean that's gonna be dope we're actually gonna have some pass rush this could be really nice 90 finesse move should be good he's an 88 overall with superstar we're gonna have to also make sure his abilities are all good and ready to go when we're done with all the roster moves i'll worry about abilities and stuff defensive tackle two could be better will anderson jr on the edge as well that could be fun the 22 year old out of alabama i mean literally a year ago we were all gushing over will anderson talking about how insane of a season he was gonna have and he had a solid rookie season seven sacks 10 tackle for losses he's gonna be even better this year for us baby I feel like our cornerbacks leave a lot to be desired. 75 overall uh, with Wiggins, 75 overall Hamilton. So maybe we go find some corner help. We could always also look at a free safety. I think Brisker will be fine. Yo, we got JOK coming in off the edge also. And uh, outside linebacker could work nice. Thompson's going to be fine. Defense, I feel like if we can get a cornerback or two, I feel like we'll be fine. 
Offensive line is going to be a bit of an issue, and Kyler's going to be hard to work with. But I think I'm going to stay with Kyler simply because I don't know how, with Fantasy Draft, all the uh, the cap hell that the Saints are in is going to work. So let's see if we can make some trades. Did anybody go hella heavy on corners in general? Because I feel like our corners, like everybody's got like an 87 or something like that. I guess... I guess we just didn't give a damn about cornerbacks with our best one being a 75. Christian Gonzalez and JC Horn would be nice too for the Colts. All right, uh, let's see. Williams, anybody just have a shit ton of extra corners? God, wouldn't it be sick to go get PS2? I have 82 million in cap. I don't know how. Man, if we could get X Factor PS2 on the team to be cornerback one, that could be absolutely huge. Now, I have no idea what it's going to take to get him. I'm going to offer a first round pick, see where we're at. Not even close. That doesn't shock me. Is the big piece we go for going to be the corner? I don't know if that's the move entirely. We could also try to throw in. They're looking for a quarterback. Who is our backup? I got Mike White. Does that excite you, Detroit? Because it doesn't excite me. What if we trade Aziz Ojolari? That could work because it because I think we're going to be using Moro and uh, JOK as outside linebackers. We're just going to kind of split. Ojolari has star dev. I wonder if I could get anything of value for him in the second round next year. See if that works. Does this get us anywhere? No, it doesn't. All right. I'm just shooting at the hip. All right, fine. You get two first in a second. Damn. The trade offer package says there's nothing we can do to get PS2, which would be awesome. I guess we're just gonna have to keep looking for other options. Maybe I was shooting too far for the stars. I wonder if it's possible to get Darius Slay. He is 33, but again, we're just trying to shoot for this, this season. I don't really care about the future or regression entirely, and I feel like he could be sick to get. I wonder if I could get him for a first. I know he's older, but it is a little bit closer. Again, maybe maybe I'm shooting too hard on, on some of these upper echelon corners but this is very gettable here. What about a first, a second, and a third? That doesn't get you going, but what does? Let's see. All right, let's do it. We got big play slay, baby. I'm giving up Mills, who was not planning on starting. A first, a second, two thirds, and a fifth. Did I give him a ton? Yes. In the grand scheme of trades, that would be a second. I don't care about these draft picks. Yo, what is up with the Vikings? They got the double Johnson cornerbacks. That Dude, corners look great for the Vikings. Let me get an 83. This could be cornerback two, right? Paulson Debo. Yeah, I'm totally good at nailing names. Let's let's see if we can get him. We shouldn't have to give up too much. 83. You want a corner, a quarterback? I, bro, can I interest you in Mike White? Let's go, baby. I'm not shocked that didn't work. I wonder if I could try to upgrade by going Hamilton and then a draft pick. Maybe that works. I don't have a ton of close value in terms of, of picks, but maybe a fourth in him gets it done. No, that doesn't. I think I got to try to find a cornerback that might be in that like overall range, but older. I think us trying to find some of these older guys might be the move. All right, let's go. We traded second and third in Hamilton, who was a 75 overall 31 year old corner. Technically our corner two. We're going to upgrade him to Campbell, who's an 82. I feel like cornerback wise, we look a little bit better for sure. I feel like between our defensive line and now our corners with big play slays, we got Campbell. I feel like we look pretty damn good. I feel like we look a little good. Wait, we also have Kenny Moore. I just realized this. How He's only out for two weeks. We, I didn't realize he was hurt like that. Oh, when he comes back, we're going to look so good cornerback wise. To be honest with you, I now feel like I could move Wiggins for something else. He's going to be young and have value with him having hidden dev. Think about cornerback one being Slay, cornerback two, Kenny Moore, cornerback three, Campbell. This could be good. This could be good. Defensive tackles look great. Edge rushers look great. I feel like we look kind of good. One thing, again, we're stuck with Kyler Murray, and I feel like maybe I should try to... I, the offensive line is going to be a big issue. Big issue. Could I walk away with what few picks... I still have one more first-round pick we could throw to try to upgrade the offensive line. Specifically, I guess left guard would be the best to, op, to, to improve. Maybe center, maybe right guard. At some point, we're not going to be able to upgrade everybody, but... I think I got to try to upgrade left guard, I think. To be honest with you, we already could. I'm going to move my center down. Frazier plays up to a 75 as a left guard. I feel like if I go out and find a center, maybe a left tackle, that would be the best use of what we have. I'd also really like to find another wide receiver. I don't know if I can, though. I don't know if I'm going to have the capital. Let's go back to the trade market and see what we can find. All right, we're looking for a center. I want him to be, ooh, to be honest with you, Mitch Norse might work. He's an 81 overall. He is 32, but you got to keep in mind, we're thinking go flawless this year. We don't give a damn about the future because if this doesn't work, we're going to have to re-roll and try a new team. Maybe Mitch works. Hold on. I'm going to keep looking. Think Colts in your head. 84 overall, 31. Yo, hear me out. What if I what if I give you the keys to the candy shop? 
All right, what if I go left guard and I give you Isaiah Adams, who is a promising young lad? You're like, hey, the future could be bright. You don't give a damn about Ab uh, Adams. Holy piss. Do you care about Zach Frazier? Probably not. You do more. Okay, so what is worth more? Having my left guard be a 70 or my left guard being a 75, but my center could be, a, be an 84. What is worth more? What about this? What if we go, what if we look for more centers? Just keep looking, keep him in our head and maybe we can find something that could work. Man, obviously it'd be sick to get Tyler Linderbaum. I don't think I could get him for a first plus anything else that I have a value. Like that'd be our last trade. I just don't think that's the move. What would it take for Andre James? 27, he's an 80. I'd be fine with the 80 overall center, I feel. And then we just, maybe maybe Adams is the guy. We pair him with some some something. No, you could not care less. Damn. What if I throw in Wiggins? Again, we'd be hurt for two weeks, but you got value. Damn, who wants a, who has a center that could be traded and you also would like a corner? We're coming back to Morse. Does this work? That's better. Now, do I have anything else I could throw in here to try to get this center? I give you a young promising corner. What about these draft picks we have? We have a fourth, a sixth, a fourth, a fifth. I wanna try to keep that first round pick for something else. Oh, we're close. We're so, so close. Just gotta add a little bit more here. Listen, uh, what team did this recently? I feel like there was a team that did this recently and they gave up all the future to try to win now. Was that the Rams back when they won? I don't think to this degree they did it, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Seventh round doesn't matter. What about the sixth round? Do you care about that? That could be, okay, let's see if we can add something here. You want an outside linebacker? Let me tell you something. I might have one, I probably don't. Uh, I, I got Boogie Basham Jr. What do you know about Boogie Basham Jr.? You kind of like him. I just realized I still have two first round picks. That's even better than what I thought I was cooking with. Do you want this six round pick? I'll give it to you. You're so close. You're such a dirty little hoe. What about this six round pick? It's higher up. Son of a gun. Have another fourth. Have another fourth. Yeah, it's definitely official. Okay, so we've upgraded our center. We traded a young corner, but again, we got another corner coming back. We just got to somehow make it through week one and two. Is that a gamble? A little bit. Somehow our defense is up to an 84 overall, but our offense went down. I don't think it was a 79 to start. Did I trade anything for the offense? I don't even damn know. Our defense is actually up to an 87, according to the generate best lineup thing. I feel like this team looks like they might, they might, they might eat some ass. We still kind of have a question of safety. I feel like we need more offensive weapons. How hard would it be to be to upgrade from Jalen Warren to somebody better? And then would it, could we use another first round pick to maybe get another lineman? Maybe, because I'm gonna put Frazier over. Well, shit. I'm gonna put Frazier at left guard. Could we use Adams, the last two first round picks, to upgrade one more spot offensive line, get us another wide receiver, and upgrade running back? That's the question, let's see. God, wouldn't it be sick to get Brandon Ayuk? That'd be way too much though. Let me think, let me think. What's a wide receiver that could be nasty? Dude, Rice is only an 81. All righty, we're making a trade. I'm putting Damian Pierce and LaVisca Chenault Jr. Uh, with a second, a fifth, and two, no, two fifths and a six for Nico Collins. That gives us a better upgrade at wide receiver. I still have the two first round picks. I think that's the move. I think wide receiver wise, when you got CeeDee Lamb, you got Nico Collins, you got uh, JSN, and then Osborne as your four, I feel like that's pretty good. So now I feel like we got to upgrade one more offensive line spot and then halfback if we can. All right, we're moving two sevenths and a sixth. Both of these aren't this year, they're in the future for a future fifth. I feel like the fifth just carries more value. I think I can swing another trade. Oh my God, we're so close, dude. The two young offensive linemen that won't be starting, a fifth and a first. I was trying to get a big left tackle and Decker. We're so close. I'm just running out of extra depth and which kind of scares me a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to throw any of these bodies. If somebody gets hurt, we're so screwed. All right, we did. We got a left tackle. We traded Guyton. We traded Adams. We traded Elliott, the backup strong safety. We have no depth, a fifth and a first, but we got our big left tackle. Whoo! All right, we have boosted our team quite a bit, but I feel like I still have one more move inside of me, and that is to upgrade over Jalen Warren. I think that's the move. I, I feel like trying to upgrade over Kyler would be way, way, way too hard. What we have here is we have one first round pick and then Jalen Warren could be used in this, this trade to get a better running back. I feel that's the move. I don't know, I've never done this before. So this is gonna be kind of something new. And if we fail, maybe I should be looking at more offensive line. Maybe I shouldn't be okay having a lower rated uh, safety. I don't know. There's a couple things we could, we could think about here, but I'm trying to think who I want as a running back and who could really, really open this offense up. Of course, it'd be so sick to get McCaffrey. It'd be so sick. That's just not gonna happen. 
happen. We're not even in the same ballpark. Uh, let's see. I mean, wouldn't this be sick? I don't know if there's a world with the Holy God, we got Bijan Robinson and he's in a Saints uni. I am melting inside. Do I upgrade over Jalen Warren? And was it worth including the first round pick? Probably not, but Bijan Robinson is so explosive and good. And you know, I'm going to sell myself here and say that I think over the course of the year, he'll get better. I don't know. So let's see, can this team go undefeated? I feel like we have totally mortgaged the entire future which is fine because we only care about this season. It's time. This is going to be the team. Let me make sure everything is set up here. All right, when we generate best squad, this is how it ends up looking. Although I'm going to make one change and I'm moving Frazier up to our right guard. He's a 75 overall in the position. I think that's the move. So we did upgrade the offensive line. Is it the best? By no means, no. Uh, but I think it's good enough. I think it can be solid. I, 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 we're going to find out, though. This is going to be a, uh, a learning progress for us here. Running back, we got explosive B. John Robinson. Super fun, not only in the run game, but also in the pass game. Our wide receiver core. Listen, Kyler Murray is not the most exciting quarterback for us to have here. But have we given him the potential to succeed? In my opinion, I think so. He's got C.D. Lamb to use. He's got Nico Collins and J.S.N. right behind him. He's got B. John as a running back and in the receiving game i i feel like this is going to work he also has freaking Knox, who can be a very solid tight end and then for defense listen i know we're looking at bishop here and we're going i probably should have upgraded free safety i'm hoping that our defensive line is so good and i feel like this is a really good defensive line that and with our corners especially once uh kenny moore comes back in two weeks i'm hoping that this team is going to be able to be good everywhere else to where we can kind of we can kind of deal with having a 75 overall safety but this is how it is. We have Kenny Moore on the IA or the IR for two days, two weeks. I'm having a hard time here. All right, it's it's early. Uh, I'm hoping this works out good. I I don't know. Let's see. Leave a like if you think this team's going flawless. Comment if you think it's not and where I went wrong. Let's see. We're gonna advance. I'm gonna do the, just the first week. The Panthers are an 84 overall team. They're theoretically better than us. This is a hell of a start. See, let's see what happens after week one. Kyler with all the weapons. Can he get us there? We lost 35 to 17. This is going to be so much harder than I thought. How in the hell? We started off hot 7-0. Then we got our asses blown out. What happened? We lost to Geno Smith. Five touchdowns, two picks, 265 yards. What did Kyler do? 228, one touchdown, four picks. Okay, so we gave him a ton of weapons, but he just has no idea how to use them. Four picks? Was I playing the game? This feels like something would have happened if I was controlling Kyler. Bijan had 36 yards on 11 carries. Kyler ran five times as well. CeeDee Lamb had 92 yards. Collins had 60 to Tutty. JSN 41. Bijan 25. And Dawson Knox 10. I mean, that's just tough right here. And then the defense. Did we force sacks at least? No sacks. I thought our our, our defensive line was going to be quite good and, and pose a threat. We only got one tackle for loss, and it was from Will Anderson Jr. What? Also, Cole Bishop had 10 tackles. They had poor Cole working his ass off out there. Interceptions went to big play slays and Nicholas Morrow. All right, well, I want to know how this team would have done. So I'm going to go ahead and sim it out all the way to the end. But obviously, we failed the challenge with our first part here. Uh, that's tough. That I, The Saints, and there was a new injury, by the way. And it was defensive tackle Kenny Clark, who's going to be out for three weeks. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a hard challenge. All right, we're gonna sim to playoffs and see how these Saints with this team we built would have done. Let's find out. Bro, am I insane for thinking that we should have done better? We went seven and 10, no playoffs. What happened to the team we constructed? Was Kyler the main issue? I don't even know. Like, I feel like we look really, really good on paper. Man, maybe I'm just missing the mark. We'll have to learn for our uh, for our next attempt here. Let's look at some stats real quick. Obviously, we did not make playoffs, but let me see if I can see how bad some of our players, because they did bad. Wow, Kyler, 14 interceptions. Four of them came in week one. 21 touchdowns, only 2,826 yards. That shocks me when you have the wide receiver core that you had, and I thought he had a well enough offensive line to where he'd have time. Also, apparently he got hurt at some point because... Tim effing Boyle, this explains more, had playing time. 1,263 yards. He had 10 touchdowns, nine interceptions. So our quarterback got hurt and then Tim Boyle had to play. That's exciting. Uh, rushing yards, Bijan only got 866 on the ground, seven touchdowns. 
Kyler had 242 yards on the ground, three touchdowns. Zonovan Knight, 73 yards, two tutties, and the rest doesn't really matter. Receiving our CeeDee Lamb, 1,285 yards, 11 touchdowns. So he still did very, very good. Nico Collins, 850 yards, eight touchdowns. Knox, 668 with seven tutties. JSN, 657 with three tutties. And Bijan had 416 yards in the pass game. Um, gosh. All right, the defense. How did we do? Leading the team in sacks, only at five was Aiden Hutchinson. I thought this team would have had a lot more sacks. I thought we would have been looking at... A lot more. Kenny Clark had four. Uh, uh, JOK had 3.5. Anderson, three. And Devontae Wyatt had one and a half. Um, gosh, that sucks. Interceptions, who led the team? Shaq Thompson had two. Uh, Jaquan Brisker had two. Morrow had two. And Cole Bishop had two. Uh, and then a couple ones in there as well. Gosh, that was brutal. This team did not play how I thought they would. 18 tackle for losses for Aiden Hutchinson. 12 for Kenny Clark. Man! I really thought we drew this up a lot better. My assumption here is that once Kyler got hurt, and it looks like it looks like Boyle had to play quite a few games, that our defense was probably just on the field a ton. We were turning the football over a lot, and so that's I, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. That's tough. Did you think this was going to be that bad? I have no idea. Who wins the playoffs? I'll go ahead and tell you. So your Super Bowl in this world would have been the Chargers and the Colts. And who wins? Let's find out. So the Rams beat the Colts in the Super Bowl and Lamar Jackson was the Super Bowl MVP. Ain't that a bitch. It wasn't us. The Falcons offensive rookie of the year is Caleb Williams. There you go. Vikings TJ Watt was your defensive player of the year. Hunter Renfro was the offensive play. I got to know how many yards Hunter Renfro just had. Hunter Renfro had 1,492 yards with 21 touchdowns. Well, this one was a bust. Let's do it again. Roll that wheel, baby. All righty, try to. What team shall we be? Take me home, country roads. I feel like Madden abuses the Cowboys playbook, so I wouldn't be upset. It just flew by me. We're going to be a dolphin. Can the Dolphins, which the original team, I believe, to have won it all back in like the 70s, they they went undefeated in the, in the regular season, then they, they won out, then they won the, so the Super Bowl. So, I don't know, can we can we reenact the Dolphins? E -e -e. I don't know what the fuck a Dolphin sounds like, but anyway, let's try it. Let's see if we can do it. All righty, so we got to do the Dolphins, which, I mean, God, wouldn't this be funny if this was the team we did it with since they're the last team that technically went all undefeated and won the Super Bowl? That would be insane. So the Dolphins, and there's good old Mike McDaniel. Mike McDaniel has been looking like really fucking like, I feel chill as shit on any of the things. And then the photo they have in this game, right? Like his press conferences, he looks chill, looks... The photo in this game, he looks like the biggest dork on the planet. They did him dirty. All right, Fantasy Trap, Mike McDaniels, let's get you an effing team. Where are we picking this time? Let's see. All right, we're picking 10th overall. Dak Prescott just went off the board, for those curious. The Patriots have Lamar Jackson. Now, all these quarterbacks have gone off the board, which makes me think, when we were the Saints, how the hell did we get Kyler? Did we just not take... I guess we went CeeDee Lamb. I don't know. Let's find out. We're going to skip to the end here. Please let the Dolphins provide us with a fat, juicy team. Please. The Falcons are an 87 overall. God damn. All right. All right. Week one, we'd be playing Jacksonville. It's real quick. I'm going to look first at the injury report. Do we have any injuries? That is the question. None. So there's no Kenny Moore on the sidelines this time. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look at this team and see what we need to do to make it better. Okay, this team feels good so far just looking at it. Jordan Love is a better QB and I think should do significantly better than Kyler Murray did for us. We have ETN Jr., which is hella fun. We have a running back that's exciting as hell. And then for wide receivers, Nico Collins is back. He's We can't get rid of him. And Gabe Davis. So we don't have that, oh my God, there's the star player, but we do have two very good options that we could theoretically even try to upgrade over. I don't know. We also have Okonkwo, which... Man, he's been disappointing for me as a fantasy owner. I'll tell you that. Um, we also have a way better offensive line. 81, 86, 76, 75, and then an 86. So that's huge right off the rip. Let's take a look at this defense, though. The defense leaves. So well, we got Sauce Gardner. That's pretty damn exciting. Huh. We got him. We have a way better safety here in McKinney. Uh, and then we also have Mo Morig. Okay. The linebackers. Well, we also got Highsmith. Shit. I just realized that. I didn't even notice him there. I, his star uh, dev kind of overshadowed his 89 overall. Frankie Louvu. 
So I feel like we could probably try to upgrade our defensive line. We're in a, we're, we're, I feel like we got to get some better edge rushers and maybe a better corner to like, if I can push Wallace and Mitchell down and put a good cornerback two in there, I feel like that's the move. Get some edge rushers, make this defensive line a little bit better. I think that's the move. Then again, if we're running a three, four, maybe we just let Alex Highsmith, you know, just, just be the aggressive. Maybe we try to look for some defensive ends that focus more and run stop. I don't know. That'd be an interesting thought. And then, so if I, okay, if I were to upgrade this team, how would I do it? I figure we probably need a better tight end than Okonkwo. We could use another wide receiver, that's for sure. Do we keep Jordan Love or do we upgrade him and get a better quarterback is a real question. Because here's my thought is we have, I feel like the wide receivers enough that if we were to put somebody even better at quarterback, maybe this would, maybe Gabe Davis, Nico Collins, and uh, Dontavian Wicks would be fine. The offensive line, I really don't feel like I need to upgrade at all. This is gonna be tough. Let's go make some trades. Man, Chicago, what are we doing? If you come out of a fantasy draft with Kenny Pickett as your QB, you don't deserve happiness. What are we doing? I wonder how hard it would be to upgrade to Justin Herbert. Now, some of you guys are gonna lose your socks and be like, I can't believe you're trying to upgrade over Jordan Love to Herbert, but in game, he's significantly better. I also like Herbert. I feel like he gets way too much shit. I like him quite a bit. So we're, I'm gonna try to upgrade him our upgrade to him and i want to see what jordan love in two seconds gets me pretty damn close to be honest that's kind of insane what if i throw two th uh, thirds in there not not really working there okay 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 what if i just throw one first round pick and it's not even this first round pick what if i do a future first we're really stupidly close okay so then we come down in here and we're gonna throw the seconds that won't be valued as much a second and third what does that get me really close okay I just realized also we have Tyler Algier. I love Tyler Algier. I'm a big Tyler Algier fan. Okay, so clearly our running back game is going to uh, bang. As much as I love Algier, I think I have to include him. Oh my God, we're so close. They want a running back, but they don't want Algier. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna throw another first in here, but I need to get some more draft capital back. Okay, so we're gonna throw a first from this, from 2007 or 2027, 2007, what am I saying? But I also need some stuff back. I need some more capital that I can move around. Man, two firsts wouldn't even get it done. S forget capital back, man. Oh my God, I think we're just gonna stay with Jordan Love, I think. I mean, this feels insane. That's an insane price to pay for us to upgrade six overall. But then again, Herbert would be so fun. Man, all right, hold on, we're gonna keep looking. Okay, this took so much, but we end up upgrading in two positions. I want another corner. I'm gonna get one in Nate Hobbs. He's an 81 overall. We got Herbert and we had to give up two firsts, two seconds and a third with Jordan Love. Is this worth it? I'm trying to go heavier on quarterback as Kyler Murray did not work out for us. And I like Herbert. Okay, after we make that trade, I feel like that is a huge upgrade, I, I think for us. Now, you guys might think I paid too much for that. And maybe I did, but I feel like we had to get a better quarterback. I, I'm, I'm haunted by Kyler. All right, we're making a move. We're upgrading a defensive tackle and we're getting Hargrave. We moved Hurst, we moved a backup left guard and Simpson, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth to upgrade a defensive tackle. I think we did relatively well here. I was looking at some other ones that were slightly better in terms of overall and man, were they expensive. So not gonna do that. I think upgrading the QB is kind of, it's, it's bittersweet because obviously I think we're gonna do a little bit better with Herbert, but man, did it take a lot of stuff to make that happen I, I, to where I feel like I don't have a ton of draft capital to keep moving around here, but we still have some stuff. I really wanna upgrade edge and linebacker, but I feel like I'm kind of screwed here in terms of what I have. I also wanna upgrade tight end. I just don't know if I have the pieces to make that happen. Okay, Vaughn Miller is an 86 overall. He is 35 though, but I feel like in our instance where we're trying to kind of be hella cheap, this might be a more gettable player, maybe. They're looking for a tight end. We already plan on upgrading one. I almost wonder if I throw Okonkwo in this to make this happen, but I'm gonna try uh, Uzuma and see if this works. And then we're gonna come down to draft picks again. I still have a first, but I'd rather use a lot of the garbage picks I still have. Let me see, does this work? Not even kind of close. This should do it. This should, okay, we have Vaughn Miller now. That's our defensive end. We give up Uzuma, we give up a second round pick. I hate that we had to move the second, but we had to. A fourth, two fifths, and another fourth. So a lot of the back end draft picks we had. We are not doing as good. I, I feel like our team is better. But man, I feel like I'm hurting for resources here pretty bad. In terms of draft picks, I have two sevens, a five, a six, another seven, and another seven. So we are not doing the best that we could do in terms of draft picks. Maybe I can move some of these sevens and a six for like a fifth. That would be crazy. 
probably not probably shooting for the stars here but what if you never know let's just see does that get me anywhere nope doesn't moving up draft picks is too damn hard but i honestly am wondering i don't think this is gonna work i'm just shooting for the stars here i feel like cole Komet's gonna be a good tight end to get or at least as an upgrade that could that he i feel like he'd be fine enough an upgrade over okonkwo and I think he can play decent. So we're going to see if we can try to nab him up, see what that would take. They want a quarterback. I don't really have anything to give you. Do you like Jameis Winston? Are you a big fan? He gives terrific pregame speeches, I hear. Let's try this one right here. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Son of a gun. I just want to move all these horrible picks that I don't know how. Like, I have a first round pick, but I feel like that's overkill for Cole Komet. Am I tripping? It's not even enough, actually, for Cole Komet. That would be like our final piece. We'd be going heavy on offense, but I, I feel like our defense is good enough now. And then with the good quarterback, is getting a better tight end, may, maybe getting a tight end is not even worth it. Maybe Okonkwo will just be fine. I mean, we just saw Hunter Renfro lead the league in pass or, or receiving yards or some shit. So I, uh, maybe, maybe that's not the move to go for. I think the last thing we go for is a big middle linebacker to help the defense out. I don't know if Gibbons and Cashman are the move. I think that's the move. I think we upgrade the defense slightly more. The offense, I feel, we gotta just let it roll. Last time we had a horrible QB with terrific options at wide receiver, didn't work out. Now we have good, not great, good options at wide receiver uh, and a, a good quarterback. So maybe this works, maybe this is the mix. Okay, so we could get Nick Bolton. We're very, very close. I feel like if I throw these sevenths in here uh, and then a sixth, I think on I, that might even be overkill. I don't know. Let's see. We were very close. Super close, man. Oh my gosh. There's a world where this happens. I want to save that fifth. But then again, now that I'm thinking about it, what am I saving the fifth for? Probably nothing. God, upgrade one of these sevenths to a six. Come on. Make it happen. Somehow make it happen, Captain. Come on. Nick Bolton. God, why do you hate me, brother? Why? Ooh, they want Tyler Algier. Well, hold on a minute. How much do you want Tyler Algier? Whoa, wait a minute. You really like Tyler Algier. I do too. We can bond over this. Oh man, I really, I really wish I had some more pieces to give. I mean, like if I could just clear out some depth, if I had any depth that was super good. At corner, I still feel good. I feel like I could afford to lose uh Yidom. i'm probably saying that wrong because we've got gardner hobbs wallace mitchell right does it do you guys care about him that's not that damn bad if i had a second round pick I, he'd be mine but i don't i got two f and i got a fifth and a sixth god we're so close the sevenths aren't gonna get me there though and if i could save if i oh wait wait wait, wait. if i could save the um first round pick that gives us another option Dude, we are so effing close. Tyler Algier, you're a beautiful man. What if we don't go Nick Bolton? What if we go a little bit older? Two overall better, but he's 34. Oh my God, we're so close, bro. Bobby Wagner is so close. I mean, do you like Jay Tuffle? Tui Phil? Tough Ellie? Do you like that guy? You can, son of a bitch. I mean, we are so effing close. How do we, maybe there's a different linebacker that's the same caliber we can get. Shaq Thompson, we could get him. Uh, we could do Edmonds, but I don't want to pay good prices. You know what I'm saying? I want the very best, but I don't want to pay for the very best. What about 87 overall, this isn't going to happen. Not even kind of close. They don't even like Tyler Algier. That's going to be the issue. Who likes Tyler Algier like the Broncos did? I think it was the Broncos. I need a yellow tab on Algier in the worst way. And I don't think I'm going to get it. I think they're the only team that really, truly valued him. Yep. The Broncos are the only team in the league that want him as bad as, well, to his, where his value's worth shit. There's got to be something else they like. Like there has to be another player where I've got a li just a little bit of depth. Mike Edwards, buddy. Come on. Bring it home, Mike. Ah! we did it okay we got a middle linebacker that's worth a shit we gave up all year i'll miss you forever we gave up some depth and some picks i still have a first round pick though what the hell do i do with it i don't think i'm crazy for saying that this team is i think quite a bit better than the saints team we did the dolphins team looks nasty now if i could somehow get i think one better wide receiver i think that's the move we got vaughn miller we got hargrave huff is gonna be the weak link but i still think he's pretty damn solid 
Cornerbacks, I think Gardner, Hobbs, and Mitchell are gonna be fine with Wallace as well. Ah, man, I think we look good. I think we look good. Highsmith is nice. Luvu's gonna be good. Uh, Billy, or B B Billy Wagner, I'm thinking baseball. Bobby Wagner's gonna be terrific. I think this could work. Now, I wonder, can I get any offers for the first round pick to where I care? We could get Brandon Cooks, Alec Pierce. Uh, dude, we could get a fun running back. Holy shit. Uh, we could get more offensive line help. Falcons legend, Jake Matthews. We could get Baker. Hmm. Tyler Boyd. We could get Rasheed Rice. That would be a fun. That would be a fun option to have for wide receiver. Could you imagine one, two, three of Gabe Davis, Nico Collins, and then Rice? Maybe? I don't know. Rasheed Shahid would be kind of fun. Um... JSN, we could bring him back. I feel like I need to get one, like, I, I, gotta, I gotta aim for the stars a little bit more. Get something a little bit better. You know, Jamison Williams in real life, I think, if I'm not mistaken, had a killer week one with the with the Lions. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he had like 100 something yards and a touchdown, didn't he? I think, am I tripping? Am I thinking of something different? Would that translate in game though? Hmm, what about 85 overall Christian Kirk? Nope, that doesn't work. I feel like Rasheed Rice is probably the best I'm gonna be able to do, which, not bad at all. What about Lockett? 31 years old, star Deb. Yes, he's an 88. Not even kind of close. Okay, man, George Pickens would be kind of fun too. UGA legend, we could make him be fantastic. With Herbert, I feel. Do I want Pickens? I kind of do. Is that a bad idea? I couldn't get him if I wanted to. All right, where the hell, what was it? The Eagles had uh, Rice, I think. How did they... Let's see. Hold on. Where are the Eagles? Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. There we go. And then wide receiver. No, I don't know who the hell had him. I don't know why I thought it was them. Jordan Addison could be fun. I traded him for Drake London. You're going to not agree with me at all on that, but I I like it. I think this gives us some stuff. Don't tell me I just made an oopsie poopsie. I, I ref I'm not being a Falcons homer. Stop it. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Shut up. I mean, you're talking Gabe Davis, Nico Collins, Drake London. That's a hell of a wide receiver room. ET in the backfield. Herbert has a good arm. The line looks good. I don't know, man. I feel like this team's got a little fuck inside of them. They're gonna fuck. I don't know. We're in 85 overall now. I feel like this team looks really, really good. Offensively, I'm excited to see what this team can do over the course of a season. This could very well be the flawless team. I think... Just overall, we have above average or great options kind of everywhere. Uh, I really like our wide receiver core of Gabe Davis, Nico Collins. I do want Nico Collins to be number one, though. I just feel like uh, he's going to be more fun. And then Gabe Davis, Drake London. Uh, I, I feel like this is the team. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments. Did I make an oopsie poops? What, did, what should I have gone for heavier? We are going to end up staying with Oconquo. Uh, I did not upgrade a tight end. I, think, I hope he's going to do well enough, but I figured we go with everything else. Maybe the CPU and Sim won't abuse the tight end, kind of how I do with my gameplay. But let's see if we can do it. And again, if you like this content, leave a like on the video because it helps me a ton. Let's do it. I mean, our defense is an 84 overall, according to this. Well, I don't know if this is actually updated because in the in the lineup thing, it says we're an 85. But we're going to be put to the test right away with the Jaguars 89 overall offense. Good Lord. Good Lord. I also have trade offers for players like Ho a Hoyt. I don't really care about him, but I want Star Dev Emmanuel Forbes. You know what? No, I feel like we're good with everything we got. We're, we're good. Just send it. It's time to lock in. Lock it in. Pop, lock, and drop it. Upgrades. We're going to let the uh, CPU do these. Get it out of my face. All right. Let's see. Can we win week one this time? Dolphins? Dolphins? E, 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 E? Come on. What it oh, baby. We win 21 15. Long live the queen. And we're playing a very good defense, but poor offense, Buffalo Bills. Show me what you got right here. Come on. No injuries. No nothing. Show me some Thursday night football. Dolphins beating the Bills. Come on. Come on. Make it happen. 2-0, baby. This is the team. I can feel it. I feel it deep inside my plums. Come on. Playing the Seahawks. Who wins? Dolphins? 3-0. Oh, my God. The offense for the Titans is an 88. But our defense is an 87. And we are cooking right now. Show me a little love come on this dolphin team 4-0 and we're playing oh my god bro a 4-0 let's go go dolphins second this might be where the run ends we're playing the new england patriots who were 4-0 as all as well they have lamar jackson we saw that in the draft 
they have an 86 overall a 91 overall offense what is their team they've got lamar jackson yep that makes sense running back they have isaiah pacheco and javante williams okay sure wide receiver they have deandre hopkins scary terry and devin duvernay damn they got a really good one too holy crap ray ray mcleod baby falcons legend uh is also on this team tight end you got goddard dude their offense is disgusting 82 overall 75 overall 92 overall 81 and a 87 for their offensive line their defense though looks kind of shit they don't have a ton of action happening there they do have Roquan Smith. Wow, man, he'd be fun to get on one of these. Um, Zayvon Collins. I don't know. It's going to be, uh, the question is going to be, can our defense hold up Lamar and this insane offense enough? And can our offense exploit their weaker defense? Going to be tough. Let's find out. Advance to next week, please. Let's be 5-0. and oh, Patriots! Show me. We lost. Oh my God, we lost 24-21, bro no it was such a close game two touchdowns 250 yards no picks for justin herbert and then rushing yards etn got 60 on 13 carries with a tutty herbert ran for 31 yards himself uh we also had some other carries throughout this as well receiving yards drake london five catches 96 yards gabe davis five catches 60 yards with a touchdown three for 49 was nico collins with a tutty ETN had 45 yards in the back. Uh, and then also Oconquo did nothing. Dontavian Wicks did nothing. Uh, defense, man, what went wrong? Did we get any sacks? No, oh, we did have sacks. We had Frankie Luvu and uh, Javon Hargrave both got a sack. Interceptions, none. Gosh, that, that cuts deep. I thought this team really had some bang. We lost by a field goal. That's so tough. This is a hard challenge. Now, some of you guys are going to wonder how good this team could have been. Let's go ahead and get to the playoffs here. See how they finish in the season. Let's see. Oh no, I see two L's to end the year. That's not great. Oh no. The Dolphins in seven and 10. What happened? Lamar Jackson and the Patriots broke us. They didn't go undefeated. Seven and 10. What the hell went wrong? I mean, we were cooking, dude. We lose to the Patriots by a field goal. Then we only muster a field goal versus the Colts. We lose by a field goal to the Cardinals. We lose by six to the Bills. Barely beating the Rams. And then, I mean, we just keep losing. The Patriots beat us again. The Raiders beat us. The Packers we beat. Jets we lose. Texans we win. And then we lose the 49ers, Browns, and Jets. Did someone get hurt? That could be the only explanation. I just really thought this team had more uh, inside, you know? Justin Herbert throws 22 touchdowns, 11 picks, 3,979 yards. I mean, not the greatest season, but not the worst. 11 picks to 22 doesn't really excite me. Rushing yards, ETN only gets 894 yards. I really thought he'd be 1,000, but 18 touchdowns. Good Lord. Oh, my God. Travis ETN fantasy owners were feasting. Herbert had three rushing touchdowns with 417 yards. Two touchdowns went to Ab Abanaconda. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, and then a couple rushing yards went everywhere else. All right, receiving. We had two over 1,000 receiving yards, guys. Nico Collins, 1,199, seven tutties. Gabe Davis, 1,006 yards, nine touchdowns. Drake London, 743 with four touchdowns. Maybe we don't need to have a really good one, two, three. Maybe we need to be kind of how the Patriots were, where we have a really good one and two, and then a eh, three. Oconquo had a touchdown, only 498 yards. ETN, 353 in the air. Croft, one for 51. The defense. Who led the team in sacks? Let's find out. Nine and a half went to Von Miller. Von Miller was a good get. He had some sacks, like it a lot. Hargrave had five and a half. Highsmith, four and a half. Puff, four and a half. Luvu, four. Two went to uh, Draymond Jones. One went to Cashman and Walker. And then a half of a sack went to uh, Mitchell and Morig. Who led the team interceptions? Sauce Gardner had three picks and four deflections. Who had 10 deflections? Blake Cashman. Good for you, champ. Force fumbles, Von Miller. Von Miller is somebody we might need to get another one of these challenges here. Man, I really thought we had something here. I'm shocked that we went seven and 10. I really thought this team was gonna be way better. This is such a hard challenge. All righty, in your Super Bowl, it is the Steelers winning 30 to 20 over the 49ers. Ugh, MVP Patrick Mahomes for the Falcons. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, and then Micah Parsons is your defensive player of the uh, year. Offensive player, obviously, Patrick Mahomes. Rookie goes to, offensive rookie goes to Drake May for the Cowboys. And then defensive rookie of the year goes to the Giants for Kamari Lassiter. Uh, man, Kevin 
Bayard the third, the safety is the MVP for the Steelers. Interesting. God, I really thought we had some of this Dolphins team, man. I am so absolutely preposterously bummed. That's tough. Well, on to the third part of this challenge, which is going to be whoever we spin here. All right, give me another try here. What team will get us to the promised land? Show me what you got. It's time. For try three, we are going with the Colts. It looks like we're going with the Colts. All righty, so let's see. Can we get that flawless, beautiful, undefeated season? Let's do it. All righty, we got to pick the good old Colts. Let's see if we can do it. I need this. I, I really need to be picking high. I think the key to this is going to be getting a insanely highly rated QB and not having to trade for one. That I feel like is something we're going to have to have in this fantasy draft. Hopefully it works for us that way, but I don't know. Let's see where we're going to pick. Oh no, we're picking 29th. Oh shit. Oh no. Well, this is going to suck. Ooh, okay, we're in 82 to start, which I feel like could have been worse. Let's actually, let's get through, let's get to the regular season and then let's see how this team looks. All right, let's see how we got drafted. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we have Kadarius Tony, he who drops footballs. Our quarterback is JJ McCarthy. We got Brock Bowers, that's fun. Our offensive line is not terrible. We have Jenkins, which is fun. Uh, we have Morse, uh, 79, 75, 78. I, it could be worse. It could be worse. That's not that. That's not a bad offensive line. Defense, show me what we got, baby. Okay, we do have Jeffrey Simmons. We do have fucking an X factor. Oh my gosh, Derwin James. Is he gonna get me? I, I get me out of this. I already know what's happening. Help him with zone. Make it 90. Could he be the key? Is he just gonna be getting so many picks? Is he going to be so amazing? I have no idea. Oh man, outside linebacker Gibson and Ebiketti. Okay, okay, okay. We do have Mosley, he's a 90. Wow, I don't like this team. Wow, cornerback, we also have a superstar. I didn't realize that, we have Denzel Ward. I don't know how I feel about this team. I really don't. I think offensively, we're going to hella struggle. I think that we have to, we have to first off upgrade Kadarius Tony. That's going to be the absolute must. And I almost feel like you got to move on from JJ McCarthy. Maybe not though. I mean, he's got to be ass, right? 91 throw power, his accuracies are actually relatively relatively good. Play action 77, under pressure, 85 speed. <sighs> Am I going to stay with JJ McCarthy? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I got to get so many other things to this team that I don't know if I can afford to go get a big quarterback. Oh, man. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I know I got to upgrade Kadarius Tony. all right? I'm not having he who drops footballs. Man, our third wide receiver is John Mechie and Greg Dortch. I don't like this team. I definitely need another defensive tackle. I can't be having 71 out here. Let's do defensive tackle. Let's try to find somebody better at outside linebacker and a wide receiver. I think those are going to be the one, two, three. I, I feel like I got to find a quarterback too, but I just don't, I don't know if I can do everything on this team that I'd have to. If I can upgrade Kadarius Tony into Rasheed Rice, I think that's an absolute W for the team. Maybe a third and a sixth and a seventh in the very, very far future. Yep, let's do it. That's fine. Kadarius Tony a third for Rasheed Rice. The sixth and seventh, honestly, I was having... Oh my God, I gave up a first round pick. I didn't realize it. Oh my God. I just, I, I thought it was a six and a seventh and I clicked down and it went to the top and gave up a first. All right, so this is the team. We're just going to go ahead and sim through this bad boy to the Super Bowl, to the, to the end of the year. Yep, we're just going to... We're gonna sim to playoffs. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Well, yep. Mm hmm. I didn't just totally butcher this Colts team. Holy shit, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be pissed if this team does better than seven and 10, by the way. I just want everybody to know. I'm gonna be hella pissed. I'm gonna be so mad if this team does better than some of the freak squads we've made. How? How did it do better than seven and 10? Eight and nine? What? I'm actually infuriated. By the way, Jacksonville went 15 and two. Good Lord, they were close as hell. How did this team do that? Like what, what, who stood out? Give me these stats. I gotta, I gotta know. Okay, so JJ McCarthy threw for 3,956 yards, 34 touchdowns. He did throw 19 picks though. But I, weirdly enough, that might be the best season I've seen so far. It was, is 34 and 19 better than what was Herbert? 24 and 12? Rushing yards, Harris had 1,059, our first over 1,000. Seven touchdowns and a fumble. McCarthy had six touchdowns on the ground with 480 yards. Uh, McLaughlin had 92 yards and two tutties. Mechie ran for 14 yards, 
no tutties all right so receiving show me what john mechie i owe you an apology led the team in touchdowns no didn't lead him in touchdowns but led it in yards 988 yards for john mechie eight touchdowns for him addison only 881 yards three touchdowns i figured he'd be higher up bauer 731 with four touchdowns bowers might be a move to get it tight in if we need to because i mean that's those are we'll take that all day rice 412 rice only had 412 yards but nine touchdowns what the hell was this team boykin had 401 yards harris 312 dorch 108 leading the team in interceptions was cj mosley with five four went to ward three to mccain pace jr had two same for stokes and mapu and then james jr uh had one so Derwin james did not get me every every pick i thought he was going to get me Blankenship had one epichetti had one who led the team in sacks 11 sacks for jermaine johnson that's the most sacks i think we've had in one of these challenges so far and i didn't even do anything to the team what is wrong with me am i the problem i can't even believe it this team did better than the other team i feel like the other teams were just more whole and freakish how in the hell did the 82 overall i'm so upset all right who wins the super bowl so the jets won the super bowl Dak prescott was the mvp for the rams christian kirk offensive player of the year for the jaguars uh parsons was defensive player of the year for the ravens lad mcconkey rookie of the year and uh defense rookie of the year went to Braden fisky fisk fisky one of those um the jets beat the lions so one of these sad franchises or fans of franchises finally got to see a world series that uh you know was relevant i mean the lions have never won it right i'm so sorry lions fans anyway jets beat the lions 27 24. there you go all right i can't end it like that with me butchering one of the teams so we're gonna do a bonus round here spin the wheel baby all righty bonus round show me another team who will we take who could be flawless and the wheel has spoken we shall be oh my god please let this work undefeated season i'm a falcons fan i've hurt for long enough okay let me have this madden gods let's see all right listen i was only gonna do three of these in the video okay but with us messing up the colts I had to do a bonus one and let me let me tell you what as a falcons fan please dear lord let this be the one it's time the falcons can we go 17 and 0 let's try it don't let us pick 29th please let us pick like first or second that'd be fun nope 13th son of a bitch all right falcons this is where we become the dirty birds and fly once more here we go see how we got drafted here on this one and ah uh, i don't know how i feel oh my god we have tyreek hill 99 overall x factor tyreek hill okay so we have fast as shit and then we have shaheed who's also fast i like this jaron warren we have kareem hunt ah uh i don't okay we gotta upgrade running back K ah caleb williams man do we trust the rookie the rookie qb i can't talk now i'm having a stroke odell beckham doesn't excite me man our offensive line looks insane we have stanley who's an 88 75 76 97 zach martin damn and then ty conklin is our tight end hmm okay i want to upgrade running back i don't know if i i am i a hater for jalen warren and Najee harris i feel like i've had both of them and i've moved on from them each time i just feel like we should probably try to upgrade is that is am i incorrect here let's look at this defense though okay so we have sweat okay we have a lot of rookies we have oral Hor I, I i messed this i'm a falcons fan i can't say his name or horror horro i don't think i said it right still i think i fucked it up we have a lot of rookies on the defensive line here we do have tredavious white that's gonna be fun that'll be sick he should be good 89 overall get me out of here with these weekly goals don't give a damn about that don't know what's happening hello falcons legend jeff okuda's back okay okay Dude, actually to be honest our defense does not look bad maybe we get another corner we definitely get another corner we definitely need a defensive end and a defensive tackle too so i would say corner defensive tackle and defensive end is 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 a must and then another wide receiver i feel like we got to get wide receiver too and it needs to be a good one and then what do we do with caleb williams man that's really tough 93 throw power his accuracies are good medium accuracy could definitely be better at 79 throw on the run is really good play action's good uh his speed 86 I, do we stay with caleb williams i don't know that is really really hard i think off the rip though i know who i want to trade for first 
we're going for Von Miller. It worked. He he looked good last time. I want him now. And he was, if I remember correctly, he wasn't very expensive. So we're going to try to get him here. And I might actually just try to simply move up from Carl Granderson. I don't know if that's the move because I do need two defensive ends here. And my left end is not very good. Well, it's Aura. Ah. You know what? I'm going to try to upgrade just in general with youth. See if this kind of works. Does it get me close? No, not really. What if I do Granderson? Does that get me close? Closer. Okay. Kareem Hunt gets me really close too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's do it. So we're trading Granderson and Hunt for Von Miller with a fourth and sixth and seventh. I think that's fine. We upgrade for Miller. Miller's going to give us great stuff on pass rush, I think. that's I like that. I'm all in on that. Okay, I think I just made a great trade. We're trading some depth at offensive line and a wide receiver that was so down the list on our wide receiver uh, depth chart for a first in three years. Okay, so 2027 first, a seventh and a seventh. So two seventh, 2025 and 2027 for Jalen Carter. And we're getting Xavier Worthy to throw into the mix too. I think that's pretty damn good. Now, granted, Xavier Worthy is not going to be, oh my gosh, he's going to be explosive, but he definitely gives us another wide receiver that the CPU can use to make something happen. And if somebody gets hurt, I'm all in on putting him in. I mean, wide receiver wise, you got Hill, you got Shahid. You do have Odell Beckham Jr. I don't know if I believe in Odell Beckham Jr. at all at this point. And then Xavier Worthy. And Xavier Worthy could be a fantastic option. 98 speed. I mean, he is so fast. That's a slot receiver for us, I think. And then on defense, we add Jalen Carter. I think that's a huge defensive upgrade right there. We still have Sweat too. So if we want to try to move him for something else, we can. It just gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, I also would like to get a cornerback though. And I'm also looking at strong safety and I feel like we should probably do something there. But so far, I like what we're seeing on this team. Now, again, I still have two first round picks. What do we upgrade? God, we're so close here. Maybe I can use some of these other picks to move up and get a first round pick, but I could trade Odell in these picks. And I mean, I'm hella close for Legereus Sneed, which gives us an insane corner right there off the rip and Chris Godwin, which I think would pair so well for our wide receiver game. I feel like that's the move. Unless, could I move Xavier Worthy? No, I can't. All right, so let's see if I can move some of these second round picks into a first round pick. See if I can jump ahead here by using some of the some of the lesser picks to jump up. Let's see, hold on. All right, we're trading Andy Dalton a third, two fifths and a six for a, this year's second round pick. I feel like that has more value. So we're gonna see if this works. I feel like I've been having issues getting rid of some of the fifths and sixths and sevenths and stuff for at least getting any kind of value. So I'm fine doing this trade that I wanna do to upgrade two positions for all these lesser picks if this should work. Let's find out. We're so close, man. <laughs> I want Legereus Sneed and I want Chris Godwin very badly. How do I make this happen? Maybe I take Odell out of here. How much does that factor anything? Not really a ton. Throw in, shoot, I don't think I, I don't think a third round pick here is gonna be worth shit compared to what, yeah, it's just not. So, damn, okay, 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 think. What can we do? Okay, we're trading two seconds and two fourths for a first with the Steelers. So I'm gonna have another first round pick. I know I still had another one I could use, but I, I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting everything I can out of this. I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna work. Just trust the process. Okay, so we're trading two seconds and two firsts for with Odell Beckham uh, Jr. for Chris Godwin and Legereus Sneed. We upgrade at wide receiver. I think we get a really good option at wide receiver too. And we upgrade at corner, giving us Legereus Sneed. That should be a really good corner. We, I, we should be very good for us. I mean, wide receiver wise, you have Tyreek Hill, Chris Godwin, you got Rashid Shahid, and then Xavier Worthy, right? I mean, this should, if Caleb Williams was ever gonna prove that he is a nasty, nasty girl and he needs somebody to match his freak, now would be the time. And then defense wise, you got Sneed, you got White. I feel like our corners look good, right? Am I tripping? I don't really know. Man, we could leave Jewel up here at 78. He's got normal dev. And then we do have Speed, who's not being used with Stardev. He could be a trade piece. I'm aware that this would leave us with a hella thin amount of depth, but I don't know if we can move the guys that have star dev to upgrade a starter and roll the dice that way. I feel like I should. There's also one thing I have to do here. I have to get Brock Bowers because I don't know. He just felt right. He felt right when we were doing this. So we have to have a shot at getting him, right? He can't be that damn hard to get. I mean, talk about the amount of options. Caleb Williams would have two thirds and Ty Conklin get us Brock Bowers. I'm in, maybe I overpaid, maybe I didn't need to do both thirds, but it works. We got Brock Bowers. We should be a force to reckon with on offense. All right, we're upgrading defensive end with our last first round pick in Orhoro Horo. 
Uh, I, yeah, I'm probably butchering his name still, but we're getting Jordan. Our defensive line's gonna be gross. Again, we only care about this year. You gotta keep that in mind. I think we have a unit of a squad. Let's take a look at it. So we ended up staying with Jalen Warren, which is totally fine. Should be fine enough. Caleb Williams is gonna have so many weapons at his disposal. The line looks very good enough. I feel like we maybe should have upgraded on right tackle now that I'm looking at this and saying it out loud. Maybe I should have done that. I don't know, 72 overall. I still maybe could, we'll see, we'll see. We do have a very nice line though, I think in terms of, ah, maybe I should upgrade a line, I don't know. Anyway, Brock Bowers is there. You got Tyreek Hill, you've got Godwin, you've got Shahid, you've got Xavier Worthy. I feel like we have so many weapons, freaking Caleb Williams, that I swear he better be the greatest rookie this world's ever seen. Defense, oh, I, I, it looks really good. We have Sneed, we have White. I think they're both gonna look good. Uh, we also have Koho, who I think is gonna be, I think he's gonna be fine. Our defensive end or defensive line is gonna be Von Miller. You got Jordan, you got freaking Jalen Carter, the UGA legend. I think this should be good. I feel like this team has a ton of potential. I haven't moved speed. Theoretically, maybe I put speed, maybe I put speed and I put wrap together and then I'm able to upgrade a safety. Let's give it a shot. All right, baby, we're getting Ward at safety for speed, wrap and sweat. Nobody was starting here, so, well, wrap was, but we upgrade to an 84 with our final pick, the fifth round pick too. This should be the team. If somebody gets hurt, I'm gonna fucking bleed, but it's fine, we don't have to worry about it. This Falcons team is gonna caw through the sky, generate best lineup. Our defense looks disgusting. 88 overall, 84 overall offense. The, now, I'm gonna be very open and honest here. It's gonna really hinge on what happens with Caleb Williams. I'm aware, but I think I've given him every tool necessary to succeed. Sure, I probably should have upgraded right tackle, but I didn't. So, but his pass game is gonna, uh, should be good, man. Sh and Jalen Warren should do fine enough, especially with all the other threats we have on the team. Uh, Brock Bowers is gonna be nasty. Our wide receivers are nasty. Our corners are very nasty, I think. Ward's gonna be great at safety. I, I think this team has the potential to do the unthinkable and that's win, go undefeated. I, th I think we can. I feel, I don't want, I, let me tell you something. If, if Tyree kills got a punt return, I, he's gonna die and it'll be upsetting. Xavier Worthy, get out there, buddy. Nobody gets hurt. Xavier Worthy, there you go. Specialist, do I put my, my slot receiver? Do I put it as Worthy? I almost feel like that might be the move. I don't know if I want Godwin to be the slot guy. You know, I'm gonna leave it how it is. I'm gonna leave it how it is. I don't know how the Sim does in this. I think this team has the potential. Let's see if we can win week one. It's time. This is it. This is all the marbles. We're in 83. No, we're not in 83 overall. This didn't upgrade yet. This hasn't updated. It's fine. Send it. Play the first game. Sim it, let's go, come on. Please beat the Steelers. Please, please do not lose week one. We win, oh my God, it was so close. 19 to 17, what the hell? Why was that so close? All right, Monday night football, baby. Can the Falcons win? The Eagles, God, we gotta play the Chiefs after this. Falcons got a tough ass schedule to start. Uh, we win 30 to 27. The Falcons can't be stopped. Let's ride. The Chiefs are 2 0. We're 2 0. Let's see how we do. They have an 87 overall defense. Wow. Here we go. See how we do. The Chiefs. The Chiefs. They beat us. Why, God? Why is this so hard? 28 to 10. The Saints are 3 0. Are you serious? All right. All right. Well. There go the dreams. Sim to the playoffs, like, I guess. I sim, sim to the playoffs. Just, I don't know how the hell we keep losing, man. How did we lose that bad? Where's the team? Where's the heart and the spirit, I tell you? Well, this was the best team we had. We made the playoffs 11 and six. Go Falcons, go. And they have to play the Washington Commanders in the playoffs. So somehow, some way, the team made the playoffs and still broke my heart. Isn't that insane? Let's take a look at the stats here. Caleb Williams threw 24 interceptions. Holy goodness. 36 touchdowns though. 4,266 yards. Eason even got out there. He threw a pick. He, he threw two passes. One of them was a completion for 22 yards and one was a pick. Good for you, Eason. Jalen Warren had 851 yards on the ground, three touchdowns, six touchdowns on the ground and 347 yards for Caleb Williams. And then Edmonds ran 204 yards with a touchdown. Receiving, Godwin had a 1,413 yard season, 17 touchdowns. Chris Godwin went insane. 
and completely just stood over Tyreek Hill. 974 yards. This might be why we were losing some games. How do you not feed Tyreek Hill a little bit more? 974 with seven touchdowns is not what I expected from him. 844 from Shahid with three touchdowns. Bowers had 556 for five touchdowns. Warren 208 with a tutty. And Xavier Worthy, 162 yards with two touchdowns. This defense that I was, I was thinking I was gonna be so proud of. 20 sacks from Vaughn Miller. Oh my God, bro. Insane. 20 sacks. Good Lord. Eight and a half for Cameron Jordan. Uh, Van Ginkle had five. Jalen Carter had five. Clowney had four. Jewel had 1.5. Uh, one went to a couple dudes here, and then uh, Love and Brown both shared one. Damn. Wait, no, I don't want to look at... No, ah, go back out. I want to see how many of the interceptions. We had a tie for third in interceptions. Only three and then two. We only had one, two. I, we didn't have that many interceptions. I feel like we should have had more. Am I tripping? I had 20, 20 sacks for freaking Von Miller. Good Lord, he's a monster. Von Miller might be a must get in every one of these. I have no idea. God, he's insane. Well, we did make the playoffs, so I mean, we might as well see how they go. Can we win a Super Bowl in this? That'd be cool. Let us see. Same to the next week. Do we beat the Commanders? Find out now. We did beat the Commanders. Oh, baby. A 33 to 10 win over the Commanders. The Falcons move on. Woo, let's go, baby. Playing the Seahawks now, who went 13 and four, have an 88 overall offense. I, I mean, on paper, we should beat them. I feel like we're just a better rounded team, better defense. Our offense is pretty much on par. Let's see, can we beat the Seahawks? Oh my God, we lost 38 to 10 to the Seahawks. No, Williams had no touchdowns, 150 yards and two picks. Warren carried the ball six times for 26 yards. We just did not run the football and it did not work well. Caleb Williams also had a rushing touchdown, so good for him. Receiving yards, Hill dominated the yards with 45. That's it. Shahid, 37. Wow, their defense came alive and absolutely locked us down. Uh, we had Van Ginkle, Miller, and Carter all get sacks and an interception from Legereus Sneed. I'm sad. I, I can't believe it. We lost. I, I, I feel like we could have beat them. They came out, though, and shoved it down our throat. All right, season recap. It was the Seahawks winning it all over the Broncos, 34-18. Josh Allen, that QB for the Seahawks, is your Super Bowl MVP. Offensive player of the year went to the Colts. It was Rome, uh, It was Odunze. And then defensive player of the year went to the Falcons. Von Miller with his insane, insane defense. Also, we traded, <laughs> we traded Rook or Horhoro. I think I'm saying it right now. I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm bad at reading. We traded him to the Lions. He ends up winning Defensive Rookie of the Year. Good for him. Wow. Wow. This challenge is incredibly hard. The best team we have is the Falcons. Go Falcons. Crazy. But that's going to do it for this one. Should I try this again? Should I change some of the rules? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a comment. Helps defeat the YouTube algorithm. Leave a like on the video. Helps a ton. And lets me know you want more challenge videos like this. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're close to 40K. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.